Thursday afternoon. I'm Sarah Bloomquist. And I'm Rick Williams. And for Brian, and the big story on Action News this afternoon is the arrest of the firebombing suspect in North Philadelphia. Police say he's facing charges for other crimes as well. Action News reporter John no Paul, shit. Paul spoke with the suspect's mother today. He has the update now from North Philadelphia. John. Yes, sir, Rick. So that arrest was made this morning about two weeks after the firebombing, which happened in some off-campus housing about five blocks in that direction. And today I talked to the suspect's mother. I told her there was an arrest. 35-year-old Kyle Halls was taken into custody this morning in a criminal complaint. Damn, man, he didn't even have a son man name, man. She tried her best. Yeah. She named him Kyle. Yeah, I was about to say, he had a oh. white boy ass name, man. Ooh, Halls. They call him Halls because he's cold. Yeah, man. Yeah, he listen, man. If you sisters, sisters are trying, man. She's trying, man. She said, I named this boy. They we ain't gonna name him Kentravius. We gonna name him Kyle. He gonna turn out good, man. There's no solutions, man. Living on edge about it. She was glad when we told her there was an arrest. 35-year-old Kyle Halls was taken into custody this morning. In a criminal complaint, the ATF claimed Halls broke a window before lighting a bottle of gasoline on fire and tossing it inside. I was kind of taken aback when they told me that he did a Molotov cocktail. We talked to his mother today. <laughs> Halls called her. From Look at this house that she raised. She probably raised this boy in this house. And he out there. Listen, man, there's no solutions, man. He stole one of her wine bottles to make that shit out of it. Notice yeah. that he definitely stole one of her wine bottles to make that. <laughs> yeah, he's Dang, that was five dollars of gas he just threw in there. <laughs> Thanks, he picked it away. You're getting blunts, yeah, yeah, man. Um, yeah, damn, man, mammy. So, mammy, mammy gonna explain it away. Tell us what happened, man. We talked to his mother today. Paul's called her, and she wore a Black Panther wardrobe. Left devastated. He's not a hardened criminal. He has serious mental health issues. <laughs> so what did you what did you do to him? What happened? I'm sure he did. That's the excuse that they're. Oh my God, Ak, you gotta you gotta check this one video out, man. This shit made me sick today, man. And that. It made me think of my father because my father told me a long time ago when I was a, a woke ass little teenager, he, he like we were I was arguing, I was calling him racist or all this shit, and he snapped back at me. He's like, Listen, man, I don't want to live with him. All right. <laughs> this is what he said to me. He said, Listen, man, if you want to go live with him, then you go live with him. But I don't want to live with him because I'm tired of every little thing being racist. And there was this news, it was this news clip that made me think of that, that conversation because they were talking about, it was, I'm dead serious on Fox 29, they were talking about there's a spike in uh, Alzheimer's in black folks. And it, it's not because black folks typically fight more and get hit in their head a lot more. Nah, it's not because... All the crack smokers from the 80s and 90s are reaching that old age. No, no, no. It's not because of that. It's because of racism. They're saying stress from living in, <laughs> stress from living in a racist country is contributing <laughs> to the Alzheimer's problem in the black community. You can't make this shit up. Yeah. I looked up. I looked up at the sky and I said, "Dad, I'm sorry." <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a wrap. It, they, 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 There's no solution, man. They're going to continue to do this forever and ever. There's no solution. You missed the early part of the show. Um, pasty liberal teacher says bad grades. Black students making bad grades because of um, trauma from having it, to live in it's the every, And my dad told me that shit, too, like 15, 20 years ago. He's like, watch, you'll see. They blame every little fucking thing. If their shoelace is untied, it's a white man's fault. <laughs> and I thought of him today when I saw that fucking news clip. I was like, God damn, Dad, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. We talked to his mother today. Halls called her from jail this morning. She was left devastated. He's not a hardened criminal. He has serious mental health issues.
And I've been going through this for years. Valerie Piner says that Hall. Oh, has yeah. Make it about you. Problems for years. And she's tried to get him help. But she says he's never done something like this. He has schizophrenia. He has um, depression. He's been, um, you know. Where are the medical records? Himself. I want receipts. You know. She was relieved to know yeah. that everyone made it out of the home. I, so I, I had a certain portion of my friends at a certain point would uh, consider me to be schizophrenic because I would I had just because I have abject uh, views on things like like how we talk about things here and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But like, yo, you got to be the only person you got to be talking to yourself. That's the only way you can come up with the rationality that you're coming up with. Like, I have a logical fallacy and ugh, that shit fucks you up. But uh, that's that's beyond the point. My bad. This is stupid. Yeah, oh, no, my cousin bugged out though. He bugged out. He was like twenty. <laughs> he's like twenty four years old. He done lost his mind. And yeah, I know. I know what my his mother is dealing with. Like she can't do nothing because he a grown man, but mm -hmm. he a bug out. <laughs> and and I, he's saying he not sick. Right. I I definitely say that it's a it's it's a um. It's decision making, essentially, you know, because I've been through the ringer and I don't know. I, I attribute like where I'm at now to when I used to be like watching World Star and I was woke and whatnot. What brought me to this channel was a, um, a racist diatribe that was taking place in the comment section. And you had a some man preaching his point, like Glide is a racist. This is effective racism. This and the third, blah, blah, blah. And, um, to summarize it, the glider dude was like, look, this man gets it. And he left a link to this channel. And I've watched ever since that day. Oh, wow. That's yeah. Crazy. That's, that's an interesting story. Wow. Right. Yeah. So uh, if he's on here, you need to come up on the panel and like take credit, man. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah, that's deep, man. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, man, that's deep. No, it, not himself. She was relieved to know that everyone made it out of the home and had this to say to the people affected. My apologies to the family or the persons who had to endure this incredible devastation of their home being destroyed. That's a nice house. I wonder if that might be a, well, we a way to so compensate those people, you know, sell that house for we'll She got that money for the divorce. For that fire. On the campus of Temple Why is that ain't there? Action News. And more breaking news at 4 o'clock. Temple University announcing an arrest and a Match. firebombing at an off-campus apartment where four students were sleeping inside at the time. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo spoke with a man who was inside that home. Matt, how's he doing? Well, he tells me he is shaken and he is scared, but he also says he is lucky to be alive and somewhat at ease knowing that an arrest has been made. A Temple University detective on patrol Thursday morning identified this man seen in security video from the early morning of November 15th. Police say that's when he walks out of a home along the 2000 block of North Cleveland Street. Watch as he allegedly throws a brick through a window and then tosses what police say appears to be a firebomb through the same window before walking away. Four Temple students were inside at the time but none of them were physically injured. We all kind of just have to keep our heads on a swivel. Annie Elliott was asleep a few doors down at the time. We've all kind of been on edge anyways recently, so I think that was just another another little nail in the I have no there. sympathy for Today, that woman. You can see the home is boarded <laughs> up. Why <laughs> have you been on edge? You just had uh, Dude, I have, people I from have the university gunned down in the street thing. and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> yeah, this woman... She knows what's going on. She's probably some kind of activist, man. I'm telling you, she's probably some kind of fucking. Yeah, I, I, I could get kidnapped. I could get kidnapped and tortured for a month by some man. They could stick wooden splints up my <laughs> friggin' nails and un, up my ass, and they could yeah, drown me in like, gasoline. Treat and you me like on Jesus. Fire. Treat and you like white Jesus. She, she would some. She would somehow blame it on me. Like, well, he deserved it because of oppression and shit. <laughs> Yeah, man, definitely. I feel no sympathy. 
They voted for this, man. She wanted this. She asked for this. She begged for it. She demanded it. Yeah. You could you know, get be you could get be beaten up to an, with an inch of your life by by a couple of sun men or like even four sun men. Find it like find the gun that they drop. Shoot them with you sitting there bleeding at, bleeding out, and they she'd go after you. <laughs> And, but but yeah, if man. I mention but if I mention hey yo uh, black people actually do commit the majority of the murder in the country you know like it right away I'm racist. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and speak right about away. that city alone. Speak about that city alone yeah, because my well, my father my father he grew he went to this college he, uh, and he ended up being like a he made like a million dollars a year. He's a corporate financial officer and shit like that. But he came from this fucking college back in the 60s or something like that. And I, I steadily asked myself, like, how the fuck did, did you do that? Like, I don't know. It's, it's smart, crazy. Man. There's so much yeah. opportunity for sun men and, out here, man. Yeah. And, and like, I, yeah, I don't want to get too deep into it, but I need to have a conversation with him for real. Yeah, man, it's a lot of opportunities. Sun man just got to take advantage of it. He won't, we, they won't, and then there you have it. Was right. asleep a few doors down at the time. We've all kind of been on. And you know, this wasn't that fir- that guy's first foray in the fire bomb in the house because he was smart enough to break the window before he threw the cocktail in. Oh, what? We got YouTube nowadays. You could learn that watching that. Yeah. But I you're mean, right. You're right. That was a, that was a, that, yeah, that was a, listen, man, he, he, this guy right here, this is not crazy because, listen, we, I tried this before to get some gas from a gas station without a um, without a uh, gas can, and they were like, "Nah, you can't do that. You got to buy a gas can." I was trying to put it in a bottle because I had ran out of gas, and I was trying to put it in like a plastic bottle. I was like, "Nah, that's against the law. You what? have to buy a gas can." That, that you know, know what I'm saying? Right. So it's, it's very yep. difficult. Gas will get. actually like. Melt into and he, and he, plastic bottles and melt them, so, so you'll so, get gas all he over. Probably the place. So, diesel. He probably used diesel too, because I think gasoline, gasoline would have like that would have flared up and blew the hell up quicker. So, so, so there was a there was a um there was a study done on MythBusters back in the day. I don't know if you guys ever watched this episode, but um they were showing how like if, unless you have a direct spark or something like that, gas like fluid fluid gas. It's not flammable, like you. It, it's it's the um the fumes, obviously, right? But ah, damn, I just lost myself. But yeah, yeah, yeah. dropping um, a cigarette in there wouldn't do it. It, it, it has it would to douse be a it. flame. It would it douse right. it, right? So, I mean, he knew what he was making when he threw the shit yeah, in the he, window. Yeah, he handled it. He, he, he the way the fact that he didn't get hurt and the fact that he was so calm handling it shows experience. All right. We've all kind of been on edge anyways recently. So I think that was just another another little nail in the coffin there. Today, you can see the home is boarded up and there's heavy smoke damage by the front door. It's the latest in a series of violent crimes that happened at Temple students in November. Police also say three home invasions happened near campus that officers say appear to target Temple students. What a rest- <laughs> Remember the one where the eleven? It was like eleven of them were held hostage for like an hour and a half by the yeah. Sunmen. That's what they get for going to fucking temple, idiots. They're idiots. That used, that used yeah, to be a prestigious school. Yeah, yeah, in their area, that's the prestigious school you can go to. Though I know the the policies and the ideologies are fucked up, but it has history. Yeah, no, I mean, fuck that. It ain't worth it, man. You yeah. you got to you got to look what, at where this is. Yeah, you know? that that's where they're missing. That's what they're missing. I took my yeah. um, buddy's son out of. It. I took my buddy out of just dissuading his son from going to temple. He went to the University of Maryland. So I feel happy about that. Students. Good salute to you, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. It's just it's just crazy. God damn, Philly, Philly, man, y'all ain't got. No bad. Oh, that's not that's not AR app. We're nah, that, are we? <laughs> y'all are. Yeah, and it's, it's it's not a race thing. It's not a race to Philly. Just does not. That's a Philly happen. homegrown thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Philly like, people like, just look rough, man. We have to. <laughs> it's a rough city, man. <laughs> yeah, like if you go to like DC, you see like I mean the white women, the black women, the hood rats in DC. 
I mean, you'll listen. You'll you you come to D.C. or Prince George's County and see some of these little black hood rats in the fucking hood, and they are fucking fine as frog yeah. hair, man. Listen, seduction. Man. The witchcraft of seduction runs heavy out here. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Mo County, like a little black chick Dog. from Mo County or PG County, that bitch is fine as shit. You go to fucking Tidewater area, like Chesapeake or fucking Virginia and, Beach or North. And she be bitches. fast. If she oh, feeling you, she be fast as shit, and she yeah. you can't help yourself, man. But once you start inching up towards Baltimore, they start. It's a drop off. It's a huge drop off once you get to Baltimore. But they still not. You still can find some fine chicks in Baltimore. When you get to Philly, I mean, it's almost as if like everybody up to, their faces were drawn. It's like they, like they, 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 somebody drew their faces. Caricatures. Yeah, they're like fucking ugly as shit. <laughs> they look you know, like Redskins, Redskins logos and shit. You never see a fine woman in Philly. Now many students are worried about their safety. There was a lot of incidents. That weren't being reported. John Mangan Stop is smiling, a man. finance major. He recently launched an Instagram account as a citizen journalist to report on all crimes near campus that affect students. Oh shit, he's he 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 he's yeah. doing me, man. Salute to you, man. He's, yeah, get your money, dog. Yeah, man. He trying to he trying to help, man. I was never somebody who was like an activist or very vocal or very, you know, involved, but there hasn't been um a lot of transparency and everything. And that firebombing incident happened just outside of Temple University's patrol zone. So no alert weird. was initially sent to students. But today, the university did email students informing that an arrest has been made. Now, I also spoke with Temple University's vice president of public And he's already posted and bail on his back on the street. About if she plans to expand that patrol zone. Hear her answer. It might surprise you. That's on Eyewitness News at 5. We're now reporting live at Temple, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Oh, 